Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Microsoft Playwright Automation Tutorial. So this is our lesson two, where I'm gonna talk about the Playwright architecture. So I'm gonna cover the topics like what kind of architecture that Playwright uses and what is the difference between the architecture being used by Selenium and Playwright and what kind of protocols that is being used by Playwright and the Selenium and then how the communication between the client and server happens in Playwright and how the communication between client and server happens in Selenium and then what are all the different advantages of your Playwright architecture over the selenium architecture so please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you so here is the architecture okay so if you see here so there is a big difference in the architecture for selenium compared to playwright okay so playwright architecture he is an improved version of the architecture uh, and hence the playwright is uh, very fast and it's very reliable okay so if you see on top okay on the first uh, architecture for the selenium right and at the left side you have a test client okay where you will be writing your uh, scripts in java okay rc sharp right and here any selenium commands that you pass uh, in the test right in the from the test client so the request will go to your selenium server first okay in the form of http protocol so for selenium we are sending the request in the form of http protocol so that request will go to selenium server and then the server will respond to the test client okay and then connection will be disconnected okay that means let's say i am just sending open browser command okay the open browser command will go in the form of http protocol to the selenium server and then connection is established and selenium will respond with the browser open open browser response will come back to your test client from selenium server as soon as the response being received to the I mean received by the client then connection will be lost so basically it will be disconnected the server will get disconnected and then again after opening browser let's say you are sending a command to click on an element right again the request goes to selenium server in the form of HTTP protocol and then the selenium server will respond with the clicking of the element correct so once client receives the response then again server will get disconnect so that means if you are sending n number of commands to the selenium server this connection will be established n number of times so connecting disconnecting connecting disconnecting so for every command the connection and disconnection will happen Okay, if you see here, right side, Selenium, send a request in the form of HTTP request and a get response. So whenever connection established between client and server, it will get disconnect after each, after sending response for each request. Okay, and when it comes to playwright, okay, this is your playwright architecture. Okay, this is your test client where uh, you might write your automation scripts in the form of Java or you might write in .NET, Python, uh, JavaScript or TypeScript, right? Any language you write. So as soon as you run your script, the first command will be. So basically the command before it sends the command, what happens? The web socket. So basically client, test client, your client versus server right the connection will be established in the form of websocket protocol so this websocket protocol is being used 
for the big very big applications like live chart applications right or if you are doing some trading bitcoins right so you'll be using for those kind of applications okay so first the connection will be established between client and server in the form of websocket protocol so once the connection is established immediately any language java python or any language all the commands open browser click element entering the text everything right the commands will be you can send the commands back to back without having without the termination terminate without terminating the connection so once the connection established from client to server immediately you can send the commands to back to back without terminating the connection so that is the reason the playwright is a very fast so connection and disconnection have not happening n number of times only one time so unless you disconnect server or unless you disconnect client forcefully the connection will be there forever and the commands will be sent forever so basically you can send the commands back to back okay if you see playwright once the request sent to playwright server via websocket protocol you can send back to back request without terminating the connection so that's why i'm saying so websocket protocol is being used for the uh, uh, if you want to uh, connect to the server for the longer time okay if you want to uh, connect to the server forever right like uh, live chat applications where once you connect you, you you'll be having a uh, conversation with the uh, server for longer time so it should not disconnect in middle right or trading the bitcoins right so for trading bitcoins any trading applications the protocol is being used websocket proto protocol is being used so that's the and uh, that's the advantage basically the advantage of your playwright is um, websocket protocol and it is too fast and the connection establishes one time and you can send n number of commands with the, with the same connection okay that's the reason the playwright is very fast compared to your selenium or cypress and here in both the cases right selenium or uh, playwright the communication media is json so basically these two are the json servers okay uh, so the communication happens in the form of communication media is json only okay for both of them okay and then let me go to another um, architecture diagram which i pulled from google only okay it's your uh, playwright client on the left side and then and then here this is your uh, playwright protocol right and this is your playwright server which is node js server that's what i am saying node js okay json format everything is in json format so playwright server is node js server okay and here see <clears throat> you might write uh, your code in python or you might write your code in java okay so as soon as you send a request your web uh, websocket protocol right the, the connection protocol will be established between your client and your server once the connection protocol is established so let's go back here and once the uh, connection is established right so let's say first you send a request for opening the browser from client to node.js right and you will get a response with browse open and then immediately see once the connection is established so it's basically two-way connection right once the connection is established you are opening the browser you get response and then uh, navigate to URL and then you will get response immediately and then um, probably click on login button right you you get the response immediately so basically once your protocol connection is established you can send your request back to back requests and connection will be will not be lost and let me understand one more thing so whenever you send a open let's say open browser to node.js so what it will do the playwright server first 
it will not directly interact with your binaries so i explained my in my previous session also right so the chromium so there are three types of binaries chromium binaries which supports chrome edge opera and then uh, your firefox binaries which supports mozilla firefox and then your webkit binaries which supports your apple safari right so here whenever you send a request open browser request right so first what it will do the playwright will check in your system if the system have the corresponding binaries or not okay if the system if server finds the binaries in your system then it will not send a request to download you the binaries because the binaries is already available in your system in case if server finds that your system does not have the binaries then it sends a request to download these binaries chromium binaries firefox binaries and then your webkit binary so what it will do because your system does not have the binaries it sends a request to the latest binaries and the binaries will be downloaded to your system and then the response will be coming to your client right which opens the browser corresponding browser and after that you can send navigate to url and then you will be sending to click button entering the text and immediately you will get response from your playwright server right so that means once the connection is established you can send the request back to back so this is one kind of architecture and where also you understand about the binaries right so before opening any browser or before it contacting to the binaries what it will do first it checks in your system if the binaries are available or not if binaries are not available then it's going to download the latest binaries if the binaries are available and it's not going to download the latest binaries but immediately it's going to respond with the it's going to respond basically for the request whatever you send from your playwright client okay so hope you all understand so let me just go back here okay hope you all understand both the architecture diagrams uh, whatever i discussed here okay so in case of selenium the connection protocol is http connection protocol in case of playwright the connection protocol is web socket protocol and the web socket protocol is a very fast in nature and very reliable compared to the http protocol because in the http protocol the connection between your test client and server happens multiple times it gets connected and disconnect for each kind of command that you send from your clients right in case of web socket once the connection gets established you can send the commands back to back and you will receive the response back to back okay that's the reason your playwright is very fast so basically the script runs very fast and you get the response very fast okay hope you all understand the architecture of the playwright and in my next sessions i'm going to start the actual practical sessions i'm going to start automating the test cases and while automating different types of test cases i'm going to cover a different concepts of playwright okay what are all the advantages and what are all the functions that are available what are all the uh, options that are available in automating your web application okay if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the architecture of microsoft playwright and what are all the advantages of this architecture over selenium architecture please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you